this is Nikki from Nikki's Crafting Corner. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm here with this journal. Um, I have made this a few months ago and um, this is mainly plain and empty and um, I have made this because I wanted to try a new kind of binding. Um, I will show you later how I did this. So this is made from an Amazon paper bag and I have sewn some pretty light green wallpaper onto it. Um, it has uh, four signatures. My spine is two inches wide and this journal is, let me see, nine inches by seven. So, yeah. Um, I have made this because, um, yeah, one, I wanted to try this new binding method and um, second, I wanted to have a botanical journal, but I have never done anything to it than um, sewing in some signatures and I have a few pockets, um, but that's basically it. So let me show you how it looks. Inside I have some pretty bed sheet, um, cotton fabric, this is um, glued and sewed and I have sewn all around this journal as you can see here. I have already made a pretty little notebook that sits in this pocket here and there's another pocket here. This is not very deep, it goes right to this fold here. Um, as I said, I have added a few pockets, so this is a double book page pocket, and then I have some really neutral colored pages in here. This was a freebie, but I cannot remember from whom this came. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I have coffee dyed. This was um, plain copy paper and I have coffee dyed it. And then I have some avocado dyed pages in it, more coffee dyed pages, and a few pockets, as I said, like this, and then it has a side loading pocket here. Sheet music, this is coffee dyed paper and graph paper, coffee dyed. And here you can see my binding. So. What I basically did is I punched two holes at the top of a signature and at the bottom. And then I just pulled a thread through um, uh, these two holes. And this one comes from the outside and goes to the outside again. So I have this thread here and then I can use these to put some dangles on my spine at the top of my journal. And at the bottom of my journal, I have done my binding from the inside and then again to the inside. So I have some possibilities to have dangles um, at the bottom of my signatures. So yeah, basically my papers are, as you can see, neutral colored. This is another book page pocket with a fabric pocket on the front. And another pretty book page pocket like this. Yeah, but basically it's plain. Here I have um, coffee dyed some transparency paper or vellum paper. Yeah, book pages, um, coffee dyed pages. So this is kind of neutral colored with some hints of rose colored pages. Okay, but um, I thought I want to do something with it and I want to jazz this up. Um, I have printed a very, very, very pretty kit from Kiati. Her Etsy shop is called Paper Romeo. Let me show you the pretty pages. So here you can see some of the pages they are mainly blue colored um, 
but I think if you print this out, your printer probably doesn't do funny things like mine with the color. So, yeah, really, really gorgeous pages with ladies and lace and roses and butterflies. Very, very pretty. Here I have printed this um, half the size. These are the journal pages. And this was a freebie, I think. And this is from the main kit. Here you have a lot of pages with ephemera. Really pretty and journal cards. And some writing spots you can put onto your pages. And I thought um, with this kit, it should be really, really easy to fill my journal and make it pretty labels and pretty ephemera. And I really love this page with the typewriter and the stamps and letters. And yeah, that's just right up my alley. And this also very, very pretty, very versatile to use, I think. So here I have some green labels, so this will fit my cover, but um, I think I want to do something with my cover. Um, I have something in mind that perhaps will work, so let's see how this goes. Here again some pretty journal cards or even writing spaces, some pockets on this page, and I really love these images, very, very pretty. And again, I have printed this one half the size. So I have some smaller pieces. Yeah, pretty, pretty. And look at these ladies, gorgeous. Very, very pretty. I love these. So, I have not printed all the pages, but most of them. I really love this, this page. This is um, a journal, junk journal spread and really pretty. And this one I also love. So, yeah, I think you have an idea how these pages are. This is the original size of the pages. And my printer gives everything a frame even um, though I said I don't want to have a frame but um, my printer prints um, this frame on the bottom and then all around so yeah I will prepare all my pieces off camera cut out everything and um, get rid of this frame, oh look at this, so pretty. And um, yeah, when I'm ready and um, everything is cut and prepared, uh, then I will be back and I can start to jazz up my journal. So see you in a bit. I have prepared quite a lot of things here, as you can see, and I have um, put down some paper clips and um, some words that tell me what this is. So this is my pile of pockets and this will be my front cover and then I have a little booklet here. This goes like this, so a fun little thing that I want to glue down like this and then I can fold this out. So we will see to that later. Um, here I have some pieces for side pockets and some fold outs. So um, what I want to do first is I want to put down some pockets in my little journal. So let's take out the journal and let's glue down some pockets.
like this. I just want to have this as a floating envelope, so I will make a notch and then I just want to put this in here with a paper clip. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, perfect. I saw someone making a floating booklet. I think I want to do something like this here on this page because this is a little bit more sturdy. It's very thin cardstock. So yeah, let's do this right here. So basically what you want to do is make a little booklet. And I just have to see my pages are in the right direction. This is a pretty cover. I want to have this for my cover. This could be my middle spread. Yeah. So this will be like this. And then I have this pretty paper yeah so I will just fold this in half like this and I want to Sew this down right here in the middle. So I will take this to my sewing machine and then I will be back. So my little booklet is uh, sewn right down the middle and the most important thing is this cardboard strip I have sewn directly on with um, my thread here and this is the most important thing for this floating effect. So let's see. This will go like this onto my page. Um, so what I have to do now is I have to make, I have to cut my paper. So I have marked my the width of my paper per cardboard strip and now I want to slit this paper right here on this mark and I have to make this a little bit wider than my paper strip so let me put something underneath to secure this and then I can make my cut. And now I can put this paper strip into my slit here. like this so it's completely inside as you can see and that gives me this floating effect so what I have to do now is I have to hide my paper uh, cardboard strip so I want to hold my little booklet in place so it's um, kind of square and now I can hide this paper strip but I want to shorten it a little bit I don't want it to compromise my spine right there I have this embossed junk mail envelope and I think I want to use a piece of it 
on this page. So let's cut this. I hope I can get it straightish like this. And I want to close the side here first. And because I want to hide my cardstock, I want to glue this down completely onto this page. Okay, so now this is hidden and as you can see, this is a kind of floating booklet. I think I want to have something here to hide my slit. Okay, so this is finished, really pretty, and then I have this envelope here. Okay, so that's really pretty. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so now these images put everything together on this page. I think I want to do something that I can fold out completely. So, let's do something like this antique letter kind of things. I think I have to put it this way. So something like this, and then you can fold this out completely. Yeah. And I can even tuck this one in. Yeah, so let me glue this down onto my page. Okay, and I think I can tuck this in here and then it will close itself like this oh yeah cute okay After adding a lot more fun things to my pages, I can glue down my front cover topper to this pretty journal. Finally, I stapled down some butterfly cutouts as page tabs to the top and the sides of some pages, as you can see here. And now I show you the finished journal in a flip through. Have fun! Bye!